all right everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to do a little bit of urban pond fishing i am actually at lakeside park in tucson arizona um started out the video thinking i was going to do a little uh video on a bait that doesn't get talked about very much anymore doesn't seem to get be, get used anymore and i was just going to try it out just to see if it was an effective bait for these urban ponds but once i got down to the water um i saw bass um chasing shad busting on shad on top of the water and i just had to go after those fish uh the video is a little chaotic at the beginning um trying to find a bait that i could uh, catch those fish on of, of course i didn't have my full full tackle bag with me just took a little bag down there because i was thinking i was going to do a video on something else um but i did dial in a bait did catch some of these fish so um hope you guys enjoy the video please click that subscribe button hit that notification bell and give the video a thumbs up and uh let's get down to the water and let's get to the action and I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit oh fish feeding right there come on right there Do it, yeah, you got one, guys. Oh, he came off. I couldn't set the hook. This fish busting right here, dude. Fish busting right here. Bad, dude. That was exciting. Oh. All right, fish. Where you at now? I'm ready for you. Well, that's fish out there. That's fish out there, man. Ah. Can't get it out there. Guys, got one. Sweet. This fish are feeding on minnows or something. And they were schooling right there. <laughs> oh, he came off. Dang, oh, and my bait came off too. Dang it. That was the only one I had. Shoot. Oh. Swipe at it. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. This is freaking cool, man. If I could get these fish to commit. I know this bait is probably bigger than what they're used to seeing, and that's why that other one is pretty cool. That little Kitek thing, but this thing I can throw a little bit better. Maybe I can get out there. Oh, oh get out there. Got one. Oh, it came off. Dang it. I know this bait is big. I wish I had those small ones, man. At least they're going for it. They're way out there now. I can't get out there, but there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them out there. Oh, I'll get out there. Now we're ready to go. Oh, 
There we go. There we go. Come on, guys. Try to keep them on here. Oh. There we go. There we go, guys. Finally got one. Finally landed one. Good gosh. Finally got one, guys. We got, well, hook three, got one in, so that's awesome. We finally got one. Let's get this guy back. Jeez, you were only out there like 10 seconds. No. Jeez. You got the magic bait. Huh? You got the magic bait. Well, I've been, I've been counting on it because the last three days I didn't get anything. Well, there you go. I'm glad you got one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Got one, all right. Guys, we finally got one. I switched up to a, a robo worm, rigged at Nico. I mean, I tried, tried a couple of things hooked some fish but lost them and this one it well, wasn't even around a school that I could tell because all the other ones you'd see them busting popping up on the surface and I was throwing at them this is a prism shad um, robo worm so I figured if they're chasing minnows popping off on minnows like I said I threw a little kitek swim bait in there did get one and uh I got off here at the bank, lost my bait, and then I had one on that fluke, but that fluke was just so big. So, I thought I need a downsize. So I downsized this little, I think it's a little six inch, prism shad, robo worm. got that one so hopefully we're on to something here I haven't seen them come through busting in a while but that one I just caught I didn't see them busting so maybe if they're focused on these minnows and stuff this color and technique will be the ticket Another little one, another little one, guys, but we're on to something with this prism shad rover worm. Oh, there's a school of them out there. Oh, bad. They're way out there. I can't get, I can't get way out there. It's as far as I can get. Another little one. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, I hope he didn't choke it down. I don't know. It's right there. It's right there. Oh. You little guys. Where's my pliers? go we got them we got them yeah 
Catching some little ones, guys. Catching some little ones. Action's pretty good. Thank you, fish. Thank you, fish. There we go, there's another one. Hey. These little dudes, oh, he came right off right there at the end and he took my worm. Dad good. There we go, guys. That's another one. Oh, that's another one. There we go. There we go. Little little guy. Open up. Open up. There you go. Oh, you guys gotta take it down in there. I think I got my pliers with me. We didn't caught anything big today, guys, but it's been fun, man. Those fish were busting. Oh, got out of his mouth. I'm trying not to catch him again. He's a little guy, but we got him. We got one. I don't know, just when you're getting ready to leave, you catch one. Let's get this guy back, maybe throw a few more times. Got me a bird. There we go, got another one, guys. It's smaller and smaller every time. Another small guy. Another small guy. It's the smallest one yet. Little guy. They're getting littler and littler. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video here at Lakeside Park. Um, I've never seen that before, never saw fish uh, busting like that here at uh, Lakeside Park. Um, so I had to target those fish. Um, uh, once I dialed in the bait, that uh, Prism Shad Robo Worm, I was able to start catching some fish. Um, I just figured they were, they were going after those shad, which were probably silver, maybe a little blue, which that Prism Shad is just perfect for that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you guys can come along with us on the next adventure. And we will see you guys next time out on the water.